Let's look closer on the object property um, window. As we're going to work more with the creating Sarah and other things, we'll get more and more used to this. Right now, we just overview so you get familiar with some uh, location for the properties. So we'll go to select the sphere and you'll notice in our object property aspect view, we have some icons on our side, they are disabled. Some of them it's edit select object because it's a primitive, it does not apply. If you have it, for example, as a fir tree, a little bit more complex, some of those options will be enabled. So let's go ahead and from first, you'll notice it's edit select object. You can always by single click on an icon, double click or right click on a fur and select from drop down menu or you can go from top navigation drop down so you have multiple ways you can access the same property so it's wherever your workflow it's more um, up to your style so right here you notice when we open edit for a tree this is open the plant editor um, version because it is um, plant if we have a different object it will open different type of the editor so as example we'll go create a standard terrain let's just make it smaller and if we open again click on this icon you'll notice at this time we open terrain editor so the editor object will be related to what type of the object we want to edit and this will open a properly editor. Okay, next we have the open our material editor and currently it's advanced material editor. We can switch to the basic. We'll look more on the sections of tutorials about material editor. Just overall, notice it's open one if you have it multiple materials like right here you can see drink one two and three which you can select it or rotate through them in this case you'll have it another options available that allowed you to edit multiple materials okay our next options it is load materials so we can open assets browser and from here we can select specific material and apply to our object below we have a type of preview so for any selected you remember before we have a preview type of wireframe shaded for all type of 3d view panels here we have it just specifically for single object so if you think one object it's taking too much place we always can switch just wireframe you no know, or the bounding boxes in this case so it will reduce some of the preview or location. Again, different selections will affect uh, load on your video card. For example, if you have a small shade, it's the hardest. So if you want to optimize and you have it for one um, large object with many polygons, sometimes you want to decrease, just create wireframe box or so you can reduce um, the load on your card. You also have it ability to log hidden and main view too. So if you log this, this object, you cannot um, apply it kind of change modification on this, but right here you'll notice you also have an icon on the lock so you can change this icon as well. The hide, it will remove the object from view. However, it's still a render. So just let you know, it only hide this object from your view. If you want not render, you just need to click on the um, side of the object and you can see it's come up X and give it a warning. It says you want to render or not render this object. Okay, let's go ahead next. Next, oh, we have it our preview. We can specify what scale we want to preview for this currently and you can see it's changed Limit bit scale. If you have it multiple materials, like in current situations, you can select down specific material or just going over them. In some cases, um, you have it very many materials and you want modified. Mostly I find out when I work with uh, imported objects like poser, I maybe have it a lot of many materials 
and I want to modify them all at the same time. Just reduce bump map because um, it's creating kind of distortion. So in this case, I will use the edit all material. Go to the bump, apply, and right here, for example, this bump depth will apply to all materials that currently on this object selected. So we'll go right here, and you notice it's now deselected. Below, we have the scale of currently texture that applied. So you can increase or decrease the scale for this currently texture. And in this situation, we'll have it actually a procedural color applied, so it won't be very visible. But if you have the image applied, you will see a change. And almost any type of the window you can preview, you can type in, or you can use the arrows to go up or down. And next, we have a different type of the color we can highlight. So how we want to display in our 3D view. For example, I can set to the green color. And this time, you can see it is apply different selected color or orange. In this case, you can take object and group them by the color so you can easily recognize. Next, we have a specific properties and settings that apply to the single object. For example, hide from the render and you notice right here, it's same X. It's a similar action if I'm just enable inside the work browser or you can use it directly, the icon under the objects in object property. So the next one, we have a render area included by object and J buffer. So if you creating and render with J buffer, next ignoring object when you're populating with ecosystem. In this case, if for example, you have the rocks and you want populated just around rocks, maybe not on top, you have one ability to uh, avoid by in population or just enable the button in this case, whatever, when we're populating with ecosystem, the ecosystem will populate under, not over this object. Okay, next we have it, ignore indirect lighting. Don't cast shadows. Don't receive shadows. Only shadows. And enable collision, which is um, when you work like rain, snow, or maybe other particle effect. Currently, without enable collision, the particles will pass through this. If you enable collision detection, particles will bounce or stick on the surface of this object it's as it designed. Uh, by enable these options, the collision will be calculated, so it's take longer time when you render your animations. Also, all these properties, the icons which displayed, you can see the similarity of some inside the material editor. However, these is options apply for specific materials and this will apply for the object itself. This is kind of nice to remember when you work with multiple materials, so you understand that some of those will apply just to single material, not to all object from this menu, not to all object this time. 